I think it's, it's rather the processes that one goes through as you see things and think you, uh, about what you can incorporate into your artwork. I, I look at the, not just the object, but actually what makes it up, the texture of things, the, the, the patterns in, a, let's say, a tree and the bark and stuff, or on the ground, you know, you see uh, what's walking on the beach all of this interesting uh, interaction between the surf and the sand and stuff creates all of these incredible patterns continually and it just changes so it's this ever-changing world you live in uh, nothing stays the same visually you know me or you or everything changes depends on the light depends on how, where you are looking at it and uh, so uh, that influences me a great deal. One of my instructors was Galen Hansen. I liked his large shapes and how he uh, created this world, uh, the colonel who's his main figure, and these large insects or birds or something that ordinarily are very small and he's blown them all out of proportion and how he's painted them and stuff is very influential. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Harold Johnson, is a wonderful uh, realist painter. Uh, the way he applies his paint, how he gets these intricate details and stuff, uh, has uh, very influenced me. I, I feel that um, his process of putting the paint on and how he creates this is something I would like to emulate at some point or another. Another friend, uh, David uh, Jane, uh, is a wonderful abstract painter, um, and I've known him for years. Uh, I used to go to college with him, and uh, he does some incredible work too. So there are a lot of artists out there that uh, I like to take little ideas and pieces and try to incorporate into my own work. Most of the um, training one gets is just doing it on one's own, you know, figuring out, well, what do I really want to show? And um, trying to sort of make the painting fit what you want to do. And it's a lot of exploration, a lot of coming up with ideas that uh, you can't really buy in a store. It's sort of a process of innovation and creation. And uh, so the actual application of paint in itself is a very creative process. And uh, you come up with all kinds of crazy ideas. And uh, some of them work and some of them don't. But anyway, so when my education is uh, basically just doing it and having uh, a really a powerful drive to create. and. Uh, so I think the painting is just the end product. The actual artwork is the process of coming up with the painting.